Hello VMF here and I'm back with some more Minecraft and more specifically with Computercraft but first of all I must say I am terribly sorry because it has been quite some time since the last time I actually posted a video and I have several reasons none of them are quite uh, good enough to excuse me but all I can say is I am terribly sorry and one of the reasons is that I have been working on something else on Computercraft um, well no than than Minecraft in fact I have been doing lots of programming on the side and if you're interested I can actually show you um, several of my projects so just leave in a comment if you're interested and I'll show you very, my various projects if you're interested but anyway today um, I wouldn't be showing the latest update for Computercraft that we'll be doing in a video uh, later on today I'll be showing a little program I created and also explain how it works and it actually detects all the functions where it will um, indicate the functions of a specific peripheral so that would be uh, an object by the computer so that could be the disk drive, the monitor or even the turtle so the way it works you just type peri that's the name of the program it created but then you have to type uh, which peripheral, peripheral you want to um, get the methods or the functions from so let's try top that would be the monitor so then it displays all the functions so uh, I'll show later on how to use those functions but uh, there at least is a list so you have right scroll set cursor pause set cursor blink get cursor pause get size clear clear line and set text scale you can also do that with um, I don't know about Perry left that would be the turtle so you can turn it on shut it down reboot it and get the ID and uh, actually this is going to be quite useful um, I don't uh, uh, raise hopes or despair a bit too much uh, so it's not yet not yet fully announced but I may or may not decide to work on uh, the hacker so a custom map part 2 so it's not final and I wanted to make it like way better than the first one because first one I notice is quite redundant so I would like to make uh, part two if I ever make it um, better in any pos in every possible way so if you actually are interested uh, let me know in the comments too because uh, well I I am curious to know whether you're interested in me making another custom map so let me know yeah and finally pay right uh, that's for the disk drive so there are all the functions now then um, let's show you how the function peri actually works so the first few lines are actually to import the um, yeah the, or the function you just type first so it uh, starts at local trgs and this line actually imports all the outside uh, outside arguments. Then the next line, so I, I don't know what symbol it is, uh, I think it's sharp trgs, that actually indicates the number or well, the length of the uh, the arguments, but one other thing it's you can type uh, table dot max n and then uh, as an argument you put uh, the table itself. But anyway if the length of a table is different than one, then it will show well call a function print usage, which is declared right above, and end the program. So print usage, it basically prints uh, the usage of the function. So it types usage colon peri and side. You know that's how it works. Now for the function itself, uh, it what it does is that it gets the method the methods of the, uh, the side you have um, inputted. So for instance that could be, I don't know, if you type top, it will get the methods of all of the, well, uh, well all the methods of the top, so that would be the monitor. And then uh, it will basically display all of them with the uh, last three lines. So if you, uh, that's all about it and uh, then to use those functions let's type help 
peripheral. They are several functions, so we have peripheral is per is present, so that checks whether the pre pe peripheral is here. Peripheral get type, uh, it gets type, you know. Get methods, that's the function I just used to get an array with all the methods you want to know. And finally, peripheral.call, that's what we actually want. It's um, basically, when you do peripheral.call, then you indicate the side. So for instance, uh, if you want to display a message on the monitor, you put top and the method name, uh, which are given using peri uh, top, like that. Now then, uh, let's go to Lua, like that, and try peripheral.call top, and uh, I don't know, what function can I try? Let's uh, try basically to write first, oh, and actually you have to uh, put it in a string, like that. Write, can't even write correctly, yeah. And then, uh, as an argument, you just type whatever you want to write. For instance, let's um, do a very typical hello world. Just like that. And when you check out the screen, ta-da! Uh, hello world is, well, written. Uh, but it's a bit spool, small, and also it's uh, in top right corn top, uh, top left corner, rather. So, let's try a different function. Uh, this one will change the size. So I actually forgot what the function is. Dang it. Um, I think it's set size. Let's... What the... There you go. Hopefully it will work. Ah, not such many. Uh, oh no, it's set scale. Dang it. Should that work? Oh, come on. Never mind. Uh, I have terrible memory. I'm actually such a dumbass. <laughs> oh, never mind. Uh, Lua again, because it's actually written on top here, so... Let's just do it again. Peripheral... Dot... Call... On the top... And the function I want to call is set text scale. And um, you have to choose a number between 1 and 5. So uh, 5 is the uh, biggest text you want. So let's do that and this time let's write, I don't know, um, any text. Hello. And write. And you'll notice, well, the text is, well, slightly, slightly bigger, I may say. Um, and so, yeah, that's uh, how to use the pair four functions. Hope you, well, hope this was useful. And uh, anyway, this is useful for me if I ever create the hacker map. So yeah, anyway, if you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, or at least do one of those if you're really cool. And uh, or if you already have, that's even better, I guess. Uh, if you have any suggestions, any, well, any ideas, I don't know, let me know in the comments. And I'll be seeing you next time.